All right, we thank you so much, Elena. Well, despite the moments, a few moments of tension, thousands still gather to join in on the festivities at the Pioneer Day Parade today. Uh, ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly was there, and she joins us with all the fun. You could really feel all the excitement in the air at the Pioneer Day Parade today. Many people camping overnight to try and get the best spot. Parade goers share with me this is something they look forward to all year long, and they're excited to see what's in store. I love coming to the parade. I've been coming to the parade for about 70 years. I love it. Today, thousands of people gathering along the streets of downtown Salt Lake City to celebrate Pioneer Day. We celebrate all those that survived the long walk across the country and it's a really fun day. Many camping overnight to find the best view for the parade. Well, some of us, some people that don't want to be on camera got here Saturday night. I got here at three o'clock yesterday morning. They say it's all worth it to see the parade filled with colorful floats, music, <laughs> endless excitement. There were around 115 entries this year and you'd see members of our ABC4 team among them. Parade goers sharing they love to be a part of it all. I love all the policemen and the governors and the church authorities and the floats. The floats are beautiful. My mother used to help make the floats. It's fun to be here. I love Utah. Some saying it's a tradition to set up their chairs and blankets and watch it in person every year. Be with family. This is a family friends thing. It's wonderful. Everybody should come. And that they're excited to come together and celebrate Utah heritage. It makes me feel a little patriotism for Utah and Utah's great. I love the history here. As you can see, it was a day filled with history, fun, and family. Many say their festivities will continue at other events, such as the rodeo or fireworks. There will also be a drone show here at Liberty Park tonight. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Caleb Baggerly, ABC4 News.